my love, me, me, me. It is now day 16 of Vlogmas. Stay tuned. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. It is now day 16 of Vlogmas, and I am so excited because this is the halfway point, so I am actually doing it, y'all. I'm very excited that I'm able to push through these videos one day at a time. It's been a challenge, but you know, got to do what you got to do. Anyway, question of the day comes from one of our very own team members. I'm very excited because she is one of the mature team members, and I do have a gamut of ranges uh, a gamut of age ranges on my channel so I'm very happy to say that she is 56 and she wants to know after having three failed marriages and trying to understand what actually went wrong she's taking time off so she can actually get rid of all of the baggage that she's been carrying around and she wants to know where and how to date over the age of 50. And I must say that I'm very happy and honored that you actually chose me to answer this question for you because you obviously know that I am younger than you. And so um, I want to share the information that I was able to read about and ask maybe one or two people that I know that are in that are in your age range. So without further ado, honey, thank you so much for um, giving me this opportunity to answer your question for you. So I have a few tips for you. Um, as always, right? So I have a few tips for you, and so we're gonna go ahead and jump in. To say first of all, congratulations for taking the time away from relationships to work on yourself. She's actually said that she's celibate as well, so congratulations. You are trying to figure it all out, and none of us are ever too old to try to figure this thing out. So one of the first things that you have to remember when you're trying to jump back into dating is that um, mature women love and want to date mature men and mature men contrary to belief actually want to date people in their own age range so this is in the 50 plus age range so uh, again contrary to belief men that are older usually want to date women that are in the same age range so just keep that in mind don't feel like you know um, because I'm of, of a certain age that now he's not even going to pay me any attention. He wants the young one. That's not really statistically true. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I want you to do is to keep in mind that the gentleman that you are going to date more than likely is going to be old fashioned in the sense that he's probably going to be opening up the car door still. He's still going to treat you like a queen. He's still going to want to pay for everything. He's still going to want to protect you so those are things that you um, want to keep in mind that he's gonna be old-fashioned so even if you have been taking care of yourself and you are an alpha female you have to make sure that you continue to be the dainty woman when you are out on the date and let the man take the lead because that is what he's used to doing the third thing definitely keep in mind that he has lots of emotional baggage. See, you, my sister, are now taking steps to try to get rid of this emotional baggage, but most people in general, and specifically men, don't usually ask these type of questions um, on how to better their relationship. Now, obviously, there are some that do, right? But most men, doesn't matter the age, most men don't ask for help in this in this area they try to figure it out all by themselves and so don't forget that he's probably going to be carrying some emotional baggage but you can help him with that with just um, being yourself letting down your guard and that way he will be able to let down his guard he'll be able to see the true you and you'll give him a chance for you to see the true him all right the fourth thing to keep in mind is that he still craves emotional support so when you're out there, you know, you still give him the compliment. You still encourage him on if whatever he's trying to do. Maybe he's now starting to try. Um, maybe he's trying to start a business in his more mature life. I actually just found this out and I want to share this with you that um, Colonel Sanders, which is the founder of KFC, he actually didn't even start doing nothing. And I hate to put it that way, but his first 64 years of his life was just living like the rest of us, usually like a nine to five or something like that. He didn't even open up his first KFC until he was 65. So just keep in mind that 
he might have a goal that he still wants to reach. And all of us still have time to reach our goals as long as we are still breathing. So just keep that in mind. The KFC that we now know, or, or Kentucky Fried Chicken, Colonel Sanders, that guy, he didn't even open up his first KFC till he was 65. So he didn't even become rich until he was a much mature man. So keep that in mind. He might still have some goals that he needs your support with. You can do it. You can do it. The fifth thing I want you to keep in mind, my lady. Oh, come on closer. Come on. Because you said that you are celibate. Right? So keep in mind that brother still might want some honey. <laughs> he still might want to get in between the sheets. I'm saying might. No. More than likely, he's still going to want to be intimate. I'm trying to keep it clean. But you get what I'm saying. In between the sheets. He still want to do that. So keep that in mind. Starting to date again, that don't mean he don't want to have sex. Okay, yeah, I just said it. So, yeah, yeah, keep that in mind, huh? <laughs> keep that in mind. And if you being celibate is important, you make sure that you still have to divulge that information. Not to every guy that you date. But once you start to see that it's going getting serious, um, then you need to divulge that information, especially if you don't want to have sex right away. Now, I will say that with mature people... Sex is not the most important thing once you get into these relationships and you are more mature in just, just relationships, period. Sex is not the top. However, because men, period, and women, right? But I'm specifically talking about mature men. They still want to have sex, so keep that in mind. So again, you want to divulge that information to him. If things are getting serious, then you do what you need to do. If you don't want to, you know, I'm just saying put it out there so it's not a secret or a shocker when you guys are kissing and things are starting to get hot and heavy. That's all I'm really boiling down and trying to say. Keep it in mind, hun. Keep it in mind. He still want that honey. He still want that honey. <laughs> the final thing that I want you to keep in mind is that he may have some health issues. Right. So you need to discuss all of these things that I'm talking about, especially discuss the things that are the most important to you. That way, if it doesn't work for you, you don't have to waste a lot of time. Also, keep in mind the final tip that I'm going to give you is to keep in mind that relationships move a lot faster when we are more mature in our age. Like they move a lot faster. I mean, like weeks, maybe even months faster. So you have to be ready for this. Once it starts picking up, you know, it's going to be like a chugga, 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 slow train. And then once it picks up, so you got to be ready for it. It's going to pick up much faster than it once did. But again, I'm congratulating you for letting down your baggage. Now, I'm going to give you a couple places for you to look for men and just put yourself out there, right? I want to do this all in one video um, because I, you sent me another question as well and I want to answer that at a separate time. So, okay, so I'm going to run through these. The first place that I think that you should look, I've been telling everybody else, so I'm going to tell you too, is online. And some of the online sites that you can look for, I actually looked them up. Okay, so there are four places that you can look for online. So the first one is Our, Our Time. The second one is Zeusk. The third one is Match. And the fourth one is Elite Singles. So those are four online sites that you can meet. And these are specifically for um, mature people. Now, some of them are for all age ages, but the Elite Singles and the Our Time is for absolutely 50 plus okay so just keep those four in mind the second thing is to volunteer the third thing is to get into some type of club it can be a wine club it can be a golf club it can be gardening it can be a book club it can be some type of club you have to put yourself out in these situations so you can um, heighten your chances of meeting people the next one is the library the fourth one is a church a synagogue um, uh, a mosque, whatever your um, affiliation with the uh, religious background is, if you have one, then that can be a, also a um, way to do it. Also through your friends and family. Don't forget about your friends and family. Don't forget about all of the people that are actually around you. If they know that you are searching for a mate or companion or whatever, let them know. You just never know who knows who. 
The final thing that you can do, and this one could be a fun thing, is to actually create an event at your own home. And all of the people that you invite, you have them invite somebody that you do not know. Specifically, if you're inviting women, hopefully they have a man to be able to bring. Or if you have men friends, hopefully they can bring a man that you do not know. Right. So if you invite five people, those five people invite somebody, specifically a man that you do not know. And who knows? The possibilities are endless, my sister. Thank you so much for entrusting me to be able to answer this question for you. I hope I did an awesome job for you. And definitely anybody else who has a mature person be able to send this to them, give them this information. Absolutely give me thumbs up if you liked it and definitely subscribe if this is your very first time to hear to I Love Me 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 because I'm supplying each and every one of you, doesn't matter your age range, with all of the tips and tools to be able to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. Thank you so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.